Formula One driver George Russell shares rare look at exclusive Royal Box tickets for Wimbledon. Greetings from Royal Family Led, my channel. There is nothing like Wimbledon, said to George Russell, who posted images taken from the Royal Box. George Russell is showcasing the highly sought after Wimbledon Royal Box seats. The 25 year old Formula One driver and his girlfriend, Carmen Montero Mundt, went to the 10th day of the 2023 tennis tournament on Wednesday, and he shared a picture of their tickets to the Royal Box on his Instagram story. The Royal Box tickets were cream colored with an image of a woman serving on the famous grass court. The names of George and Camilla were recorded below, with the entrance date of July 12 guaranteeing their seats in the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club's most exclusive area. The club chairman Ian Hewitt, who on Wednesday sat in the Royal Box's front row between Queen Camilla and Prince Albert of Monaco, also had his signature printed on the passes. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel. Russell posted a cheerful photo of him and Munt posing in the hot box on Instagram with the remark, there's nothing quite like Wimbledon. The couple adhered to the Royal Box's tradition by dressing in their finest summer attire. Those with tickets are asked to dress smart, even Prince George made his Wimbledon debut in 2022 wearing a suit and tie, but a traditional summer accessory is forbidden for logistical reasons. According to the Wimbledon website, women are asked not to wear hats since they often block the view of people seated behind them. However, on really hot and bright days, contest administrators will provide Royal Box visitors straw fedoras with dark green and purple ribbons, the club colors. While Kate Middleton wore her own straw hat on a particularly hot day of the finals last year, Prince Albert wore one of the caps on Wednesday. The athletic royal left the head topper behind when she entered the court to distribute awards as part of her role as patron of the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club. In July of 2014, Meghan Markle brought her own hat to Wimbledon to see the ladies' single final with Kate. It was their first date without their husbands. The Duchess of Sussex, who is now 41, wore a well-known piece of attire, a white straw hat with a black band over the brim. She never wore the hat, though, while she watched Serena Williams, a friend of hers, face Angelique Kerber. Although Wimbledon's 74-seat royal box is often associated with the British royal family, invitations are actually sent by the All England Club president. The Lawn Tennis Association, as well as other sources, are sent to offer proposals, and guests are given refreshments in the clubhouse at the conclusion of each day, according to the Wimbledon website. Since 1922, Wimbledon's friends and guests have been entertained in the royal box, according to the website. British and overseas royal families, heads of state, tennis professionals, business partners, British armed forces, Prominent media organizations, supporters of British tennis and other walks of life are invited. The statement reads, Tennis loving on July 4, Princess Kate made her first appearance at Wimbledon, and on Wednesday, Queen Camilla made her debut. Although the Queen had a front row seat in the royal box, one of the nicest in the house, as some might imagine, contestants did not bow or curtsy to her. If members of the royal family were seated in the royal box, athletes competing on center court would bow or curtsy after entering the grass court. It was decided in 2003 that it was time to end the custom of players bowing or curtsying to members of the royal family as they entered or left the center court in accordance with the views of the Duke of Kent, the club's then president. The condition was changed to only apply if the sovereign and her heir apparent, Prince Charles at the time and Queen Elizabeth were present. In recent years, players have chosen to bow or curtsy to the royal, like Kate, handing them their trophy, but this is entirely up to them. King Charles has only ever attended Wimbledon twice, in 1970 and 2012, therefore he isn't anticipated to go this year. However, on center court, it's likely that competitors will bow or curtsy to Prince William, the current heir to the throne, when he visits the event again.